What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to my channel. Today I'll be unboxing the Nintendo Switch. I bought mine on release day. Um, I've had it sitting in my studio for the last couple of days. I have not opened it. I kind of opened the box to look inside, but I haven't taken anything out. I have never powered the thing on. It's still absolutely brand new. And today I'm going to be unboxing it. So a lot of people have been wondering why I haven't been doing my unboxing. I haven't done the unboxing because I've been enjoying the hell out of Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, which is an incredible game, and I didn't want to pull the Nintendo Switch out and put Horizon to the back burner, and I'm still not going to do that. So, for all transparency, I'm going to unbox this thing, I'm going to power it on, I'm going to check it out and see what the UI is like, and I'm even going to put The Legend of Zelda inside this uh, beautiful contraption to start it up and see how it feels. But I am going to be going back to Horizon Zero Dawn because I'm having so much fun playing that game on my PlayStation 4 Pro, so let's get started with the unboxing. All right, so as you guys can see here, we got the Nintendo Switch box. I'm going to flip it, and I'm going to open it up. And this will be the very first time I've ever taken it out of the cellophane or out of the box. All right, so here's the actual portable, uh, I guess, tablet, which actually feels a lot smaller than I thought it would be. I thought it would be um, a little bit bigger than this, but it's very compact looks very nice very sleek I don't know what that I guess that's the power port maybe a docking station these are where the joy cons connect on the sides all right we got the game card a little portion that goes in there it says game card we got some volume rockers on this side as well as a power button but yeah it looks it looks pretty nice Right. Coming up next is uh, the beautiful Joy-Con. It's tiny. I don't know how the heck I'm going to feel, uh, especially if I end up playing, you know, uh, competitive multiplayer with someone and I actually have to use this as my controller. It feels a little tiny, but it does have shoulder buttons, which is really awesome. So those are the shoulder buttons on the inside there. Very small. And as you can see, the controller is very tiny. It's a micro controller. So I guess this would be the right side. This is, let me get it out, the left. This is the left side. Player one as well. And like I said, it feels very, very tiny. It just feels microscopic. I don't know how I'm going to enjoy that. It does feel like it's it, the quality, the build quality does feel pretty, pretty good. Uh, it feels pretty Nintendo. Nintendo standards, you can tell it has a little bit of weight to it. The technology that Nintendo used in these, it's supposed to have like some kind of super rumble. So I'm looking forward to seeing how this actually works. All right. So let's, for the first time ever, I can see myself. I can see my house from here. Let's uh, slide the Joy-Con in. All right, that did that did feel satisfying. Ah, that looks it looks really good. I don't know how I want to feel about playing it, but it does. It feels pretty good. There is no D-pad, just two analog controllers. But it's very thin. I guess I can do a comparison. All right, so for comparison's sake, here is the PlayStation Vita. It has a screen protector on it, so it's a little shiny. Um, and here is the Nintendo Switch. The Switch is a little bit bigger. The Vita is definitely wider. It's thicker. You put them both side by side here. I don't know how well you can tell, but it's definitely thicker the Vita is. And as far as weight goes, it feels very, very close. Now, now here's the Nintendo 3DS XL. It's pretty, it's pretty big, <laughs> and the, the the Nintendo Switch is longer. Let's see what happens if you fold it in half. The 3DS XL is wider than the Nintendo Switch. So I think this is a pretty impressive piece of hardware for it to be able to do everything that it's supposedly able to do 
uh, and they've packed it into such a small form factor. I'm pretty impressed. It feels, it feels really good. Uh, it feels very light. It feels, it looks modern. I like the fact that it looks so modern. Let's see what else is inside the box. So, we got a Nintendo Switch booklet, safety instructions. We got the docking station. Ah, there you are. There it is, the Nintendo Switch docking station. Oh, I wanted to see something as well on the Switch. All right, so I wanted to see exactly how the kickstand felt on the Switch. It feel, I mean, I gotta be honest. It feels a little flimsy. I wanna sit it up. What you guys see? Oh, it looks sitting up. Move you to the edge of the desk. I mean, it works, but for how long? I mean, I think if there was ever an issue or some weight was pressed on this thing, it seems like it'll snap right off. So hopefully that doesn't happen to mine anytime soon. Because it looks like once it's gone, it's gone. There's also the micro uh, SD card slot right there. I just ordered two of those. They landed in the mail today. So I got an extra 16 gigs to go on mine. See how far that gets me. Let's see how this thing slides into here. So it's in there. Now if I want to take off my Joy-Cons, what do I do? Alright, so when you want to take off the Joy-Cons, there's two little buttons on the back of the actual console. These little black buttons here. You push those in. Let me see, get you over there. And you're able to slide the controllers off. So let's see how seamless this actually feels. Slide it in. Okay, that works pretty well, and that's how it would work when it's docked to the television. Also, inside the box, let's see. Oh, a little switchboard. I like to call it a switchboard. Let's see. Let's tilt you up a little bit. Switchboard. I've heard some bad things about this little controller peripheral. Let's see how it looks and how it feels. Yeah, it feels a little small. I think it's because of how thin the actual design is. It feels like you're playing with a frisbee, kind of. Um, but I mean, I haven't given it any extensive playtime, so only time will tell whether I like it. Also, it's got two. Oh, these are the wrist straps for the actual Joy Cons. Let me see how this works. Take the Joy Con out. Got a wrist strap. I'm guessing it slides right. Yeah. Alright, so you got the little Joy Con wrist strap. It's made so that you don't actually fling the Joy Cons and throw them into your TV. What you always want to do, which is something I just learned about, is look for the plus sign on the little Joy-Con uh, wrist strap. It goes to the plus sign on the controller. And so that way you know exactly whether or not you're securing it properly. Because if you don't, you're going to have to stop the video and figure out what the hell went wrong. And that's exactly what happened with me. So, see the minus sign? There's a minus on this one. There's a minus there. Slide it. Bloop. You're connected. Goes around your wrist, you can tighten it up, you can play your games. In order to remove it, push the little black button on the back of the Joy-Con and make sure your controller is actually, make sure that you um, disconnect the lock on the, the wrist portion as well and slide it off. I still don't like the way those feel. They still feel like they're iffy at best, so I probably won't do too much using them. All right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild in and see exactly how I feel about the Nintendo Switch. 
All right, let's slide you in here. One. Let's slide you in here. I'm gonna take the game out of the box. It's very small and they taste like crap, just so you know, they taste horrible. I had to taste it because of the news that Nintendo puts this disgusting coating on them. All right. Open up the little sleeve at the very top of the console and you drop your cartridge inside. Let's see if that's the proper way. Yes, it is. Power. Nintendo. Very first time my Switch is turned on. Oh, it's a menu. It's asking me if I speak English. Let me see if I, I'm going to skip through the menu section and get right to the game, guys. That is a Sheikah Slate. Take it. It will help guide you after your long slumber. Oh, man. I, I know why I like this game. I don't want to get too, too in love with it because I'll stop playing Horizon. It looks amazing. Ooh, my controller's just moved. Oh, I'm so giddy! Sheikah Slate, the mysterious tablet with the glowing center. You've never seen this device before, and yet there's something familiar about it. It's very responsive. Yeah, it feels very responsive. Oh yeah. Oh man, I got... What? Oh yeah, let's throw that on, baby. Oh yeah, I got some gear. Pimp Boy Fresh. Ouch. Ah, oh, I'm so lucky. There's trousers here for no reason. Let's put on some pants, man. Oh wow, I, this this is going to be uh... okay. You got a little endurance meter. This is going to be amazing. Yeah, guys, um, can I pause this? What? Oh, that's just to capture an image. Let me go to the, the home screen. Let me just say, uh, just for the, the brief time that I've moved around on this con with the controllers and, uh, wow, I see the little lights and everything letting me know that there's power. It's actually pretty slick. The controllers feel very responsive. Uh, on the monitor, it looks very good, especially in person. It looks amazing. Uh, and for now, uh, I think I'm pretty pleased with my purchase. Uh, the Nintendo Switch is something I've been really excited about for a very long time. And it looks like it's going to possibly live up to the hype that at least I had in my mind for it. I've always wanted uh, a portable console that delivered home quality graphics, home console graphics. Uh, the PSP tried, the Vita tried and came very close. Uh, but I think that I'm actually playing the world's most powerful handheld at this point and uh, hopefully with Nintendo we'll see some meaningful games in the near future but that was my unboxing of my Nintendo Switch uh, I'm pretty excited about what the future holds for this thing can't wait to finish beating Horizon Zero Dawn which is an incredible game uh, and as soon as I beat that I'm going to be playing this in Mass Effect Andromeda hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did give a thumbs up show support for the channel join the Facebook group follow me on Twitter and you can share your videos and support the channel at BeastlyGamer.com. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.